Okay, converging chest press and we're targeting the pectorals. Okay, considerations for setup. We need to ensure that the seat height is right so that the feet are flat on the ground and also that we're using the bar across the midline of the pec here. Okay, now also this machine allows us to alter the settings here. Now, if we have a, a deep rib cage, we would need to bring the handles forward. In Jordan's case, normal build, so we're just going to keep it in the middle area there. Okay, so I want Sean to grab the handles. And we're going to take a wide grip here because we don't want to get the joint stacked as you pull forward. There. So we're trying to avoid the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder joints being stacked behind each other. We want to place as much tension on the pectorals as we can in that position. Okay, so if you slowly come back and pause. Here's the pec in the fully lengthened position. It's important that Sean stabilizes the scapula on the bench when he drives forward and thinks about bringing the elbow across the midline of the pec here. Okay, so it's not about driving the hands forward, it's about bringing the insertion of the pec towards the middle of the pec here on the sternum. Okay, so drive forward, Sean. Good. So in a way, he needs to forget there's anything in his hands here. It's not a forward movement, it's an inwards movement. Okay, back you go a few reps for me, Sean. Now, Sean's really determined to keep his sta scapula stable on the bench to create a good foundation for the press. And his, his goal is to drive this woods in across the midline of his pec. Okay, now a good end result here would see the delt being behind the pec at peak contraction. We don't want those shoulders to travel forward and dominate the movement. Okay, a couple more. Good. Okay, so that's converging chest press for the pectorals.